So, for this week's hot new product is something I've waited for for a very long time. Super excited to get this one going. Without further ado, we've got something from Garrett Advancing Motion. Knife, please. Yay! How smooth. Okay. So. So, in one of these boxes, there's a turbocharger. We're gonna get in here and figure out which is which. So I think I've gotten everything out of the boxes. Let's uh, use the magic of TV cleanup crew. So what you're looking at here in front of you is a disassembled Garrett G25 550. Uh, it's part of the new Garrett G25 series of turbochargers. It's their latest and greatest. So the G series of turbo are the most powerful small frame turbochargers on the market. They outflow any comparable product and they're supposed to be a step up from Garrett's previous GTX series. Uh, the G designates 81 years of Garrett heritage, obviously. Uh, the 25 is the size of the frame and the remaining three digits, in this case the 550, are the maximum horsepower that this can attain. So in this specific case, the G25 550 is good for anything from a 1.4 liter all the way up to three liters and is good for, like I said, up to 550 horsepower. The big selling feature of these cool new turbochargers is Garrett's awesome new turbine design. If you can see it from there. So the turbine wheel is completely forged and has recently been completely redesigned by Garrett. Uh, now, compared to their previous generation, flows 15 to 20% more efficient, which is why they're able to make so much power out of something that looks a little smaller than you might expect. I'm gonna slap this thing together, just roughly, so you can get an idea of what this sucker looks like. So Garrett has allowed me to customize this turbo for my specifications, but you can get anything from a exhaust AR housing as a 0.72, which I have, all the way down to a 0.49, which is much smaller, and all the way up to a 0.92. Uh, the 0.72 and the 0.92 are going to be V-band exit only, as you can see here, whereas other options have T25s and T4s and things like that for your standard bolt-on turbo applications. Something like this, you're gonna need a manifold that's suitable for V-band. So because there is a one-piece center housing and back plate here that mates up super nicely to the exhaust side, you can mount this and customize this however your fabricator wants. So you've got a little bit of flexibility once you're putting this in your engine bay. Uh, I've optioned this with no internal wastegate, so this is for running an external wastegate, obviously. Um, another cool feature, you've got integrated water ports and oil ports in the middle. As with all Garrett products, these are also made to withstand lots of abuse. Both the stainless steel housing and the alloy turbine wheel are rated for up to 1,050 degrees Celsius. So you can beat the hell out of these and they are going to take the abuse. There is a speed sensor port, so you can hook up a gauge and see the speed of your turbine, all of its many, many thousand RPMs, if you're into that thing. I'm sure race teams appreciate stuff like that as well. So the cousin to the G25 550 you see here is the G25 660, which as you can guess by the name, is good for a little more horsepower and about the same engine sizes as well. Typically with the hot new products, we usually get these into our secret part box and give you guys a chance to get this product. Not this time. This is mine. Garrett has sent us this to hook up to my SR20, the S15 SR20 inside my S13 240SX. And we're gonna see just how much jam we can make once I get a V-band manifold. This is dedicated to Steve with the Focus RS that's always been like this much faster than me. You see this, Steve? Look what you made me do, Steve. As always, if you want to find out more about the product we're looking at here, you have to visit the manufacturer website. In this case, it's GarrettMotion.com, and you can get a look at their wide range of applications, 
turbochargers, and all of the really cool technology that goes into making something like this. They get really technical, so if you're a big stats nerd or you like to know exactly what's going into your car, they will break down something like this right down to the flow charts and everything. Garrett definitely stands behind their stuff and I couldn't be happier to have one of their turbochargers going in my car. Thanks, Garrett.